Well, we're back out in the shop today. We spent some time yesterday. We spent a couple hours this morning uh, just getting everything prepped and going over everything and, and switching some parts around on our 2017 YXZ because we have officially found a buyer for it. So we've been on the fence about getting rid of this car for several months now. And uh, we had it for sale, um, took it down, decided we were gonna keep it. Uh, we put it for sale again, took it down a second time, decided we were gonna keep it again. Uh, but we've we found somebody who's looking to get into one and uh, we were able to make a deal with them So, um, you know, the timing's right and uh, it's time for the 17 to uh, to go to her new home but uh, man, it's kind of a bittersweet deal because I really really hate to see this thing go um, We've had so many great times in it um, Done some really cool stuff with it created some really cool content with it um, And it's been around since the beginning uh, when we first started making uh, videos for the channel um, this car has been there so um, you know, it's it's hard to see it leave, but at the same time, when you're not working on an unlimited budget, uh, sometimes you got to clear some room financially to be able to uh, afford bigger and better projects, and uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, unfortunately for the 17 YXZ, that means she got to go, so that we can be able to uh, to fund those upcoming projects. So. You know, while I'm in here uh, switching these parts around and stuff, I'm just thinking back about all the things that we've done with this car. You know, of course, the sprint car wing stands out as one of the uh, as one of the big things, which is probably one of my favorite things we've done on the channel um, so far. But there was really was so much more stuff than that. Um, it was the original project back to the '90s, um, and we've learned so much from this car. Um, we've tried a lot of different things, experimented with it, um, tested some of our race relentless products on it. Um, Kevin still calls it the parts mule today because right after COVID, whenever parts were really scarce and if you could get your hands on the parts, um, they had ridiculous lead times and, and stuff like that. So um, there were a lot of races that we just simply would have sat out um, had we not had this car to go to and, and pull parts off of. And after Project Back to the 90s, we uh, converted it into a completely stock um, motor, trans, uh, drive lines, everything. Uh, stock short course car because we figured that there was a lot of people out there that could relate to um, not having big horsepower and big money uh, to put in motors and stuff and um, we were really successful with that um, uh, we raced it actually in the pro stock class we put our our parts on I've said it in in episodes before this car has just really pulled its weight for us uh, over the last couple years so it's really a shame uh, that it's got to go but uh, like I said, we're excited to move forward and uh, and get this thing off to its new home. But um, as we're taking these parts off and switching everything around, you know, I was just thinking back about all those great times that we had with it. And I thought it'd be really cool before we officially say goodbye to the 17 to just go back and remember all the awesome times we had with the 17 YXZ. Look how dirty this thing is. It was so clean before I brought it out here. So that's what our stock class unit ended up looking like whenever we were done. Super 
super excited about this. Kevin couldn't make it, had to work, and the Pro Stock car is all ready to go for Muskingum County Speedway. So we just pushed it off in the corner and uh, decided to get the stock unit out, race the stock unit. So pretty excited about that. I can't wait to see how this thing does. We're actually going to run the stock NA class, and we're going to bob up and run Pro Stock with it too, so we can get our points in Pro Stock. So. Downgrading a little, not really downgrading, but going back to stock. Dude, what's uh, how did Joe Speedway for whatever race eight or whatever this is? What's going on? We got a lot of crazy stuff going on today. Weird day. What's yeah. up? What's going should we, should we on? What's this? The camera around? what's this? What's this? Stock unit. Uh, Kevin busted that rack up again. The car wasn't ready, so uh, he's out in the stock unit today, You're bumping running. up, running the stock class, then bumping up Run and uh, running pro stock also. So. Hey, dude, I totally forgot to tell you. There's some duct tape marks on this for a reason. <laughs> I was like, what is this? <laughs> look, it looks solid though. You look good in it. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, Just looks a lot good. of this. Yeah, I know. I seen you coming towards a flag stand like swatting at it. Dude. Barn burner. Dude, what a race. Man, I, we had a, uh, well, I didn't know that you were as close as what I've been told. And uh, I, I heard the stock unit the was showing out, dude. That's right. Climbing up on the pro stock cars, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, it was, uh, she had her tongue hanging out, that's for sure. Yeah. Bogus! 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 Stock car wins for Pro NA class. Dude, how awesome is that? This is the only track you can pull that off. Man. Yep. Dude, Gladman coming. Man's a freaking Pro NA race. It's a stock freaking unit. stock unit, dude. My good friend, Nicole, has come back to, uh, well, this ain't, won't be her first laps in a side-by-side. -side. She's already turned a couple laps. So anyways, we're both gonna rip back to the 90s. We brought we brought the stock unit out. This thing's been pulling, some, pulling its weight lately. Kevin's won two races in it. I won two races in it in the pro stock class and the stock class. Things been doing some work, so we're gonna rip that one. That's why I carry around an Incredibles body pillow with me everywhere I go, in case someone way shorter than me needs to drive. But well, we just decided about six months ago, we got this crazy idea and we were going to turn this thing into a sprint car. Finally put a sprint car on some form of track. What do you think about it? We need to find a bigger one. Alright, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Kevin's pulling out for his first session. Round two, Goods Raceway with the sprint car. Let's do it. Hey, I got an idea how we can test it. Okay. 
You ready? Yep. Okay, you ready? Go! So that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so, please consider doing so. Go to the website, buy the merch. We'll see you next time. Later. So, yeah, definitely going to miss this thing. Uh, as you just seen, we've had a lot of great times with this thing. Done a lot of cool stuff with it. But, uh, you know, it's just time for it to go. Um, and like I said earlier, uh, this car is going to fund uh, some newer upcoming projects. And, uh, you know, definitely stay tuned because uh, we got some pretty wild ideas. And uh, uh, we'll always have a place on the channel we can go back and, and remember all the good times we had with the old 17. But she's been a good car, but it's time for her to go. It's time for me to go, too. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Don't forget to go to the website, www.racerelentlessproducts.com, where you can shop the merch, the parts, all of that. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later.